Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Control. This is Project 6014. Oh my god, it's been way too long since I finished uh, the Oakland Masters. Such a great game. I really enjoyed it so much. We got 41 episodes out of it as well. Uh, it was one of our longer series on the channel. I thought it was a brilliant game. It was really, really good. Um, just enjoyed the whole thing. So I've decided to start playing Project 6014. It's been out for a little while now, but it's still in pre-alpha. It's, um, it's a little short. It ends prematurely. I've never played this before, though. That's all I know is that it ends uh, quickly right now because it's not finished. So um, we it would be really good if if any of you um, know anyone or if, if you yourself can program, please contact the maker of this game. Help them. They need programmers to keep this game going. Um, so it'd be really, really good if you could help them uh, complete this game. It'd be so helpful. But this is the fan-made uh, game called Project 6014. Basically, it's the Star Control game after Star Control 2. So it's going to basically replace the terrible Star Control 3, which apparently is terrible. I haven't played it, but apparently it's not very good. And it's actually non-canon, which is so bad. So let's just start a new game. Let's see what happens. Let's hope it's awesome. The following Alpha Demo has been approved for all audiences by the Intergalactic Froggy Association. Sweet. And here we are in the game. We're back. We're back in the in the galaxy. We're at Procyon, it seems. We got a new ship. Oh my god, look at this ship. Last time, of course, we had the precursor vessel, and we were really slow at the beginning of the game, but now, look, we've actually got like, quite a quick ship. It looks awesome. It looks very shimmery, so it's probably going to have some cool stuff going on. It looks very quick. It has a ton of fuel as well. There's 200 fuel, which is really good, really good. Um, uh, and we're at Procyon, which is, of course, the Shimmer home world, the home, so uh, the home system. 
And, oh look, we've got a whole new star map. Look at that. So, it looks like the game's going to be taking place in the uh, more southwest area of the galaxy. So, this is sort of southwest um, corner of the original map, which is further up northeast of, uh, of like, the Cyrene up there, I can see. So, look at all this stuff we have to explore. It looks like we have enough fuel to pretty much go the entire way into the corner on the left. Um, so, we see here we've actually got the Shafixti, the Earthlings, Spathy, Ors, Vux, Yehat, Cyrene. Looks like the Shamur have the most uh, area by an absolute absolute ton. But uh, look at all this stuff. We can go and talk to all these races. The Ors, I guess, are, are still alive. That's pretty cool. I want to go and check out the Ors. They were one of my favourites. Um, but it doesn't look like we can go up. We can't go and see the other races up there. Um, so, you know, the Urquan Sphere of Influence is gone, we can't see the Zot Fox, stuff like that. But whatever, we've got so much stuff to explore, it's going to be amazing. So I guess we should talk to a Shamur Captain and just get a gist of what's going on here. We greet you, Human Captain. What do you need from us? Okay, so we got the Shamur. Okay, these were obviously one of the best races in the game. Uh, we want to know about what happened to the Shafixti in that opening sequence. What the hell was going on? We shall inherited the natural susceptibility for microwave transmissions from our Genjezu ancestors. Each of us is capable of perceiving certain microwave signals. As you humans are able to perceive oscillations from 20 to 20,000 Hertz, this unique sense of ours rivals most artificial microwave receivers. However, the signal was very faint. A comparison. Suppose you hear a sound from very far away, Captain. You could not precisely pinpoint the direction it came from, since the sound is echoed multiple times from the surroundings on its way. A microwave echoes from obstacles and imperfections in hyperspace likewise. Okay, so I wonder if they've uh I wonder if they've located it yet. I wonder if they've got like a rough idea of where the signal's coming from. Our task force does not have Sufficient data about the location. We suggest you inquire further our star base. Okay, sure thing, Shmur. Okay, so we can go there later, but for now, I wonder what happened to the Urquan, the core us. Let's ask about that. Urquan first. So, yeah, what happened? To our best knowledge, the Urquan Kazersa regrouped and left this part of the galaxy shortly after Sabatra was destroyed. They knew they were no match for our Avatar starships in their current states. It may be that they return with renewed hostility. Right, so for now I guess the uh, they're not a problem, but the Kora? The Kora still populate this region of space and remain a menace. Even if they are no longer able to lay siege to star systems like they once were, we work with the Yehat to destroy rogue or other vessels. Wait, so the Korra is still just sort of hanging around in the galaxy? I mean, what are they What are they doing? They didn't even have the Sumatra, so what are they doing? The Korra primates and almost all of her aides were among those guarding the Sumatra when it was destroyed. The Korra are now without leaders and roam the galaxy as individuals without direction. The Urquan Kazersa did not make such a mistake. We know that the Korra will remain a threat to species across the galaxy, should they reorganize themselves. This is why it is imperative we destroy as many as possible while they are weakened. We understand that the remaining Korra still terrorize populated planets beyond the Alliance reach. Okay, so the Urquan not too much trouble anymore, the Korra a little bit of trouble, we've got to focus on the Shafixti. So let's go. Okay, sure thing, let's go to the Starbase, because we can get information from there, we can get the information about where the, uh, where the Shafixti uh, got destroyed, I guess. I guess they're destroyed. Um, it was Mayday. So let's go there now, let's, uh, let's try and find out where the Shafixti are, let's try and find them, let's save them, we've got Epic Ship, we can probably get uh, some new uh, uh, Shamur, whatever they're called, avatars from Starbase, so let's go.